Welcome to a Microsoft Small Basic tutorial. How to make a shape rotate to point to the mouse by Jack Johnson Software. So go ahead and open Microsoft Small Basic. So the first thing we need to do is add a rectangle to the screen. So what we're going to do is shapes dot add rectangle. We set the width to a hundred and the height to ten. Move the shape so it's a bit low on the screen. So we'll do is a uh, shapes dot move. We need to name the other shape to be able to move it. So as we store the original rectangle as rectangle. So as we now move the rectangle as we just named it, and we'll set that to the naught twenty five. So that'll move it down the screen twenty sorry two hundred fifty pixels. So if we go ahead and run that. We'll see all we have on the screen is a rectangle so you fix the pixels down the screen. Not much use really. So first we need to do is add a command to access a subroutine when the mouse is moved. So we use graphics window dot mouse move. So that means when the mouse is moved it will execute the subroutine that we set it to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna name that subroutine we're going to make rotate to rectangle. So if we go down the page Subroutines we use sub, we use that name we just made there, rotate rectangle. That means that we can use this subroutine to move the shape when the mouse is moved. So put an end sub underneath. So we'll again, we'll see, don't want to do it again. So, what we need to do is, when the mouse is moved, we need to calculate the angle we need to rotate the rectangle. Is maths dot inverse sorry arc tan that's also inverse tan but the syntax for that is arc so all we need to do is divide the opposite by the adjacent so the opposite will be 250 that's our y value of the rectangle minus the y position of the mouse so we use graphics window dot mouse y to get this position Put that bit in brackets because we've got two calculations going on in one go here. And what we're going to do is we use the divide symbol or the slash and we use the graphics menu dot mouse x to be our adjacent value. Right. The thing is, the arc tan function is more basic is in uh, radians. What we need to do is that radians to degrees. So what we need to do is add another function that's going to convert this radians. So this function is math dot get degrees. We put that in there. Put some brackets around our previous equation. You'll see that we've converted it to degrees. So all we need to do now is add a function to rotate our rectangle that angle degrees. So what we do is shapes dot rotate. We're going to put rectangle because that's our shape to move, and angle because that's the angle we want it to move. This. What you'll notice is the mouse goes the opposite way to the rectangle. And that is because the x value increases as it goes down the screen. So what we need to do is make the angle minus angle by adding a minus symbol before it. So now the rectangle should point to your mouse. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, this has uh, been a Microsoft Small Basic tutorial by Jack Johnson Software.